Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Nick. You know what? Your favorite, favorite personal growth coach. What's going on? What's going on? I am jumping in here for a minute because I just want to talk to you about something, but I haven't been on since the new year. So I want to say happy new year uh, to everyone live and in person. It is 2024. I am excited about um, some great things that are happening this year, um, some growth, um, business growth, personal growth, a lot of things that's going on. So I'm excited about that. Uh, but I know we will We'll be resuming our Tuesday's talk. Um, supposed to do it at 12, but I had a client and a coaching call that I had to prepare for, so I wasn't able to get on at noon. But I did want to uh, go ahead and start back with our Tuesday talks all about adulting and um, sharing some strategies, tidbits to just to talk about this whole process of how to adult in your purpose and how to understand your gifts, understand um, who you are, who you've been created to be, how you're going to achieve your goals and all that wonderful stuff. So just starting out saying happy new year. I'm glad to be back. Um, hope your new year is starting off well. Uh, for those that are tuning in again, thank you for uh, being a part of our adulting community. For those that are new, uh, happy, happy new year. Um, it is going to be a great year. Let me, um, make sure I want to be live on Instagram as well. So I'm learning some new, doing some new things. So give me one second. See how this works. Okay, hopefully I am live on all the platforms. Um, if you are on Instagram, let me know. Let me know, let me know um, if you can hear me and everything is good. Otherwise, I'll just uh, load the stream later on and we'll keep it moving. Got to learn all these new technologies, I tell you. <laughs> But um, again, just wanted to come on for those that are uh, tuning in for the first time. I'm Dr. Nick, your favorite personal growth coach. And what I do here at adultinginmypurpose.com is to help stressed out millennial professionals uh, get unstuck, get clarity on their vision and create the life that they desire. We know this adulting thing is hard. It is frustrating. Um, it can be trash sometimes. But if you have the right uh, strategy, the right mindset, uh, the right practices, disciplines, uh, going into this traditional um, adulthood can be easy, uh, easier, I should say, not easy, but easier um, to help you overcome some of the challenges that you deal with. So here we talk about everything adulting um, from personal growth to finances, to health and fitness, to um, leadership, to professional development. So this is the platform that we have for millennial, stressed out millennial professionals just to build that community. Uh, we have monthly uh, sessions that you can join. We have an annual summit that's usually in the fall in August. And we have some great things throughout. We have some amazing millennial um, adulting ambassadors that are part of a program that are here to help lead you and guide you through this process of self-discovery. So again, we have some great things planned for 2024. Um, if you are not uh, locked into our 
Facebook group, please go and find that. Um, get locked in and um, lean in on other, all the things that are happening. Also, visit www. Uh, adultinginmypurpose.com. Um, so you'll be a part, uh, officially a part of our community as well. So today I want to talk about something that I've been talking to my clients uh, beginning of the year, kicking it off, um, that is, I know many are dealing with it and really don't understand what it is. And that thing is, is imposter syndrome. Now, you may have heard about it, uh, buzzwords of what it is, um, but I think that it is a big part of why people don't move into the things that God has called them to do. So what imposter syndrome is, it is when you have thoughts that, you know, feeling of self-doubt, feeling that you're inadequate, despite evidence and proofs of all your accomplishments, all of your achievements, all of your competence. There's that little voice in your head that's constantly telling you, I'm not as smart. I'm not capable. I'm not worthy. I'm not deserving as others perceive me to be. I feel that I'm an imposter. So this is the imposter syndrome. And we see a lot of this with millennial professionals who are trying to take themselves to the next level, trying to um, move into their, their purpose and really make an impact in this world and really be of influence and truly do some good into the world using their gifts and creating the life that they desire. But they have these sneaky thoughts that they are an imposter. So what I want to do, you know, I'm not here to give you no secret solution. Uh, you know, we just keep it real when we talk, just to give you some real talk, some real um, practical insights of how you can address this. Because truth be told, in all transparency, I dealt with this myself. As a professional um, research scientist. I've had a career for 20 plus years in the same field. I've excelled and was a high achiever in doing what I did, but I still felt that I wasn't good enough when I was put in a situation where I had to step up um, and I had to deal with those feelings. I had to overcome and truly find the root cause of why I felt that way, regardless of the things that I have done and the accomplishments that I have made, I still had those thoughts that crept in. And it wasn't until I started working with my business success coach to help identify those things and help tackle those things. So what I want to do today is just kind of share about five things that I want you to think about if you are dealing with imposter syndrome. And this is going to help you kind of overcome that and just kind of think into. It's not going to be an overnight fix because you didn't get this way overnight. But as you start thinking on these things and working on these things, you'll find yourself telling yourself a different story because that's all what it is. It's the story that we tell ourselves that we begin to believe. Again, you remember what you think is what you feel, what you feel is what you say, and what you say is what you do. So if we're thinking a certain way, our feeling is going to dictate that thought. Our words are going to justify those talk thoughts and our actions are going to justify those thoughts to make us believe that that is fact. In, in essence, that's not the truth. It may be facts, but it's not the truth. So first thing is own your wins, regardless of what it is, big or small. Um, don't downplay yourself. Don't downplay your achievements. You are great. You are wonderful. The things that you have done so far in your life to this point today have been amazing because guess what? Everybody hasn't done it. And the fact that you have done it, the fact that you have succeeded, the fact that you have achieved it, you need to own that. Because whether it is, you know, when you were in school, giving a presentation or just surviving, you know, we have went through a whole pandemic, right? Give yourself some credit on what is going on and what you're doing in your life so far. Uh, a lot of times we just focus 
on the negative of things. And we know that where you put your focus to, that's what grows. So you want to change that narrative and focus on your wins, whether big or small, own it, celebrate it, and don't let that voice in your head tell you that it wasn't a big deal because it is. It is a big deal because if it wasn't, everybody will be doing it and everybody will be the same. And we know that's not the case. So one, own your wins, big or small. Number two, embrace the learning journey. I always tell people embrace the process. Every Your life is a learning journey. You never have been in today before. Today is a new day. You have not been here. So you got to embrace every day. None of us have it all figured out. I don't care how much they tell you they do. I don't care how much they tell you that they got the secret sauce to success. I don't care how much people on social media claim and to, to be who they are, they don't have it figured out. Life is a continuous learning curve. And it's okay not to have all the answers. You are figuring out. The problem lies is when you're closed off and not to embrace the journey of experiencing new things. When you embrace the process, you're embracing the actual journey, you're embracing the mistakes that you're going to make, or you're embracing the lessons that you're going to make, you are making yourself putting yourself in a position to grow. And that's what makes the difference. When you're not growing, you're constantly going to think about the things that you don't have. And that imposter syndrome is going to grow because you're not learning anything new. You're stuck. So embrace a learning journey and continuously learn some new things. Get out your comfort zone. Embrace the journey. Learn from the times where you didn't make the bar because it's not about a failing part. It's about learning from your experiences, evaluating your experiences in order to get to the next level and go in order to take the next step. So number one, again, I'm going to review everything. Um, number one is own your big, own your wins, big or small. And number two is embrace the learning journey. Number three, which is ultimately also important, is to connect with your tribe. You got to have a community of, of, of support system. When that imposter syndrome, the thoughts that you have, when you are in isolation, when you are by yourself with your thoughts, it can drive you crazy. Right. Because you're you're idle. You're you're not you have nothing to do but to sit with your thoughts when you have a tribe or have a community of colleagues, of friends, of coaches, of mentors that share the same experience. You will be amazed as to how many people have the same doubts, have the same thoughts. Right. So you got to remember that life is life, and but everybody is doing it, right? Everybody is doing life and their experience, there are shared experience among people that if you don't get connected, you will never know that the very things that you think and that um, have you facing the imposter syndrome, someone else is going through the same thing. And what that does is it helps you to kind of not minimize the process, but gives an understanding where you can relate with each other. And that process is a little bit more easy because you know you're not alone. We're in this together, okay? So you got to find your tribe, find your community. So number one, own, own your wins, big or small, embrace the learning community, um, connect with your tribe, find your people, uh, again, we have the Adulting in My Purpose platform, and that's what this this is designed to do is to create an environment where stressed out millennial professionals can come. We can talk about these experiences. We can talk about this trouble. We can talk about what happened, what it feels like to miss the mark and not reach your goals and how, how you internalize all of that. We have um, platforms and opportunities for you to come and express yourself and have a voice. Okay. So that, hey, I'm just throwing it out there. You need a tribe, it's out there, okay? So the next thing is to banish this thought ideal of, of perfection, 
You know, a lot of times as professionals, we believe that everything has to be perfect the first time. And we know that that's not a realistic uh, thought or a realistic goal because chances are you're never going to get everything right the first time. That so perfection is overrated. You have to allow yourself to be perfectly imperfect. And what I mean is it takes, you know, trying something, not working, trying it again, not working, uh, takes the flaws and all of those things that make you uniquely who you are. Because if you don't go through, the, go through those experiences and grow through them, you have you shape yourself into someone who can think critically, can uh, have deductive reasoning, um, can make good decision, better decision making because you have gone through the process. So chill out. Right. Everything's not going to be perfect. And when you have this idea that everything is going to be perfect, that's when that imposter syndrome will thrive because you're going to feel like, man, I'm missing the mark and I'm not good enough. But take a deep breath, embrace your authenticity, and let go of the pursuit to, of perfection because that is going to be a crutch for you for not moving forward because you're going to think, well, I have to have everything perfect before I start. Well, I have to have everything perfect before I do something. And that's not in the case. Again, that's, that's that syndrome talking. That's that imposter syndrome. And lastly, once you um, banish that, idea of perfectionism, just visit, visualize your success. I always talk about vision. We have a, a session coming up on Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time that's going to talk about vision and its important vision. And, and what do you do once you now have a vision? How do you now put yourself in position to manifest that vision? So that um, session is on Wednesday, uh, January 15th at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. I'll throw the link, the registration link in the chat because um, we'll dive more about this. But the last is visualizing your success. When you close your eyes, you know, a vision is a picture of alternative future. So when you close your eyes, you want to picture yourself doing the very thing that you desire. How are you living your best life? What does that look like? So visualization is a powerful tool in understanding your vision. And when you see see your success, then it makes that it makes it more realistic because you see yourself doing it. It becomes a, a step closer to reality because now in your mind, you're fixated on it. So you have a point of reference as to what you're doing on a daily day basis. That's in alignment with that vision that you have. Okay. So it's 2024. We are not going to succumb to this imposter syndrome that has been kicking our butt, that has been a barrier to moving forward to what doing what we want to do and what God has called us to do, um, to do, be, and have more. We're going to kick this imposter syndrome's butt in 2024, and we're going to rock this year out, okay? So I want you to encourage you, if you are struggling with this imposter syndrome, make sure you go over those five um, considerations. Right on your wins, big or small. Embrace the learn your your learning journey. Um, connect with your tribe. Go ahead and connect with Adulting Purpose Platform. <laughs> Banish that that need for perfection and visualize your success. These are just some small tips, some small strategies that you can do to start thinking into how you're going to overcome this imposter syndrome that you may be dealing with. So again, if you want to take a deeper dive, lock into our community, www.adultinginmypurpose.com. We have the workshop or a workshop webinar um, coming up on tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, January 17th at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, definitely put the link in, get registered, show up, because um, this is what it's all about. So until next time, we'll come back on each Tuesday and just talk about some things uh, about this adulting in my purpose and what that all means. But until next time, you know what to do. You stay safe and you be blessed. See you soon. Bye-bye.